Welcome to Jinx. This is an athletic program that has produced 185 state championships. More than Broken Era, Owasso, and Union combined. Trojan football has won more state championships than any school over the last 30 years and is quickly becoming one of the top 50 winningest programs in the country. A football tradition that has produced four Hall of Fame coaches and 145 All-State players, the most in state history. What do you say we get this party started? Charges for life! Welcome visitors to Allen Trimble Stadium. This is Jinx Trojan Football. Welcome to another Jinx Trojan football TV show. These are the best shows right before Thanksgiving <laughs> with Coach Riggs because we're practicing on Thanksgiving week for, I guess, just about every year. I think it's 14 out of the last 17, but going to the semifinals every year since uh, 2005. Coach, congratulations on a big win over Edmond Santa Fe Friday. Thank you very much. This time of year, any win is a good win. Yes. Uh, we just wanted to go 1-0, and 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 we accomplished that, and now it's on to the the next week. Didn't matter how you did it, but it was a, a very good ball game, 24 to 10. Uh, the victory over Edmond Santa Fe, a team you lost to 12 weeks ago in the season opener. So it had to feel good to come back and play a, a better game than what you did in the season opener. Absolutely. We felt walking away from that game, you know, they were a very good football yeah. team, but we felt like we really missed on some opportunities. And so uh, it was good to get another shot at them. And uh, uh, the guys played great and, and got us the playoff win. They did indeed. So it's the semifinals in Sand Springs, Friday night, 7 o'clock, Jenks against Union. Before that, at 1 o'clock Friday, it will be Bixby against Owasso in the other semifinal, both games at Sand Springs. If you go to both games, you got to buy a ticket for each game. So keep that in mind. And we'll tell you much more on uh, the game Saturday, or excuse me, the game Friday between Jinx and Union. First, though, the first half highlights of last week's game. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Ford. When you buy a vehicle from us, your transaction doesn't end when you drive off the lot. That's because all vehicle purchases come back by the Knight Advantage. This includes a lifetime powertrain warranty on all new vehicles, a six month, 6,000 mile warranty on all used vehicles, and a low price guarantee. These exclusive offers help make your car buying experience easier and more affordable. And that's why we're Oklahoma's number one Ford dealer, Bill Knight Ford, home of the Knight Advantage. Tzatziki's Mediterranean Cafe is serving up fresh and healthy Mediterranean favorites like lamb gyros, scratch-made hummus, baklava, and more. Our salmon feast is a delicious and filling entree with none of the guilt. With over 100 menu items, Tzatziki's has something for all tastes. Elevate your catering experience with Tzatziki's signature dips and pita, box lunches, or any of our full-service catering options. Perfect for a boardroom or a baby shower. Tzatziki's is locally owned and operated. Yes. Once again, the game uh, Friday between Jinx and Union will be at 7 o'clock. The game usually on 1170 a.m., but with OSU playing basketball against Houston Christian. Radio note, that game will switch to Big Country 99.5 FM. Coach, uh, you started with the maroon jerseys, black pants. Third time, fourth time you guys have worn this combination over the last couple of years. How does that decision make? So, uh... I move with our leadership council at least once a week, and so I, I allow them to, to pick our uniform um, each week, or at least provide uh, quite a bit of input. And uh, they've tried really hard to, uh, to have a, a different, as much as possible, to have uh -huh. a different look every week. Uh, with away games, it's a little harder because you have to be in a white jersey, but uh, they, uh, they've wanted to get a different look every week, if, if at all possible. Not that anybody's counting, but three and one in these type of uniforms. All right, so let's get to the highlights here. Daniel Newton, our quarterback, he's a good one at 6'1", 200 pounds. He is very athletic, runs the ball really well. Had the first play for about 25 yards. Um, we uh, get the strip there, Sam Stone with the strip and Cooper Shockley with the recovery there to, uh, to get the ball back to our offense. Throw there to A.C. Christensen. This is third and two here. Katie Jones with a really nice run. Uh, another big game for him. 
uh, both rushing and receiving. I think he's getting all-purpose yards. He's getting close to 2,000 mm -hmm. yards now. Um, good run there by Samaj Stanford, who uh, had about four carries. And again, is getting more and more involved in our offense. Uh, Simeon Gilkey there with the quarterback run for the first score. So you're up uh, seven to nothing midway first quarter. Demarius Robinson is their running back. They give it to Joseph Hinton here, the backup. Uh, the Robinson kid, boy, he is special. He's a, he's a really good runner. Really proud of our defense, how we were able to contain him uh, in this game because he's he has so many explosive plays um, each and every game. I think uh, over 2,000 yards mm -hmm. rushing this year. 4,000 so, in his uh, career. Three TD runs, uh, long TD runs against us in the first game. Nice throw out for a first down. Unfortunately, we had a penalty and got backed up, ended up punting out of our end zone. Uh, really nice punt. Um, Elliott, another outstanding mm -hmm. job punting the ball. Um, they get the ball out around midfield. Big run here by their quarterback. Gets down uh, inside the 15, but uh, we stiffen up here. Good stop there by the Trojan defense. Uh, Sam Stone, Jack Kalmus, and I think Hudson Ball was in all as well. Forced the field goal, which was huge, giving them that good a field position to force the field goal. They're in the second quarter now. Owen Jones had a really good night. 15 of 17 on the night. Uh, throw there to Kai Beatty. Um, nice run, broke a few tackles there. We get a penalty, a face mask penalty to extend it even further. Uh, throw out to KD Jones, breaks some tackles and gets deep into their territory. Throw out to AC. Had a couple of miscues here, a little pressure, nice. Nice scramble here by Oof. Owen Jones. Unfortunately, we had a uh, holding penalty that brought us back, and uh, we end up settling for a field goal on that drive. So you go up uh, 10 to three on Jack Franklin's 40-yard field goal, eight plays, 67 yards. This is Robinson again, and uh, he was held in check, 17 carries, 37 yards. Uh, I think it was a premature stat there on third down. Uh, great job by the defense to react, and we get the ball back. That was on a third and three, by the way, on the fumble by Newton. This is late in the first half. Trying to get down and get in, uh, at a minimum, get into field goal range. Didn't have much time on the clock. Uh, nice job there. Had a, a nice run after a catch by KD and then AC. Uh, unfortunately, had a, we were hoping to get about 10 or 15 yards there and take a shot at a long field goal, but they get the sack. And, and that ends a half. Number one, the guy that had the sack was Kaiser Bergen, a commit to OU as a defensive end, outstanding player. So the Trojans are up at halftime by a score of 10 to three. We'll take a look at the second half highlights here in just a minute. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Lincoln. We understand the value of time and have designed a sales and service experience with that in mind. From a fully online buying experience that will take you from start to finish on the vehicle purchase, including signing all of your documents online, to our pickup and delivery option and service where we'll bring the loaner to you. We have many clients who have never been to our dealership, keeping them at home to take care of the things that really matter. So come experience the new luxury, effortless luxury at Bill Knight Lincoln, 41st and Memorial and BillKnightLincoln.com. Waldo's Chicken and Beer is home of Southern Fried and Fire Roasted Chicken. Enjoy scratch-made tenders, flavor-packed chicken wings, and house-made sauces, mac and cheese, collard greens, hand-cut french fries, and our signature cheddar cheese biscuit. Finish off your meal with our homemade banana pudding. Watch all your favorite sports at our full-service bar while sipping on ice-cold beer or any of our craft cocktails. Drive through, dine in, or order online. Needing to feed a large group? Spice it up with Waldo's Catering. Waldo's Chicken and Beer, the best homemade fried chicken in Tulsa. Come see us! Our thanks to Bill Knight Ford, to Zeke's Mediterranean Cafe, Waldo's Chicken, who have been sponsors all year in the Jinx Trojan TV show, 6.30 Wednesdays on Cox Communications. After that, you can watch it on Trojan TV on YouTube. So we take a look at the second half highlights, Trojans leading 10 to three. First, let's look inside the Sharp Center. This is what it's like every Friday <laughs> before the game. Our moms do an outstanding job of decorating the locker room each week uh, to kind of get the guys fired up and usually have some some uh, theme uh, but yeah it's been uh, 
exciting to walk in and see what uh, mm -hmm. Friday mornings, what they've done on the night before. It was a neon night. The super fans dressed up in their neon, so it was a lot of fun Friday night. Good weather, and the Trojans leading 10-3. to uh, Santa Fe gets the ball to open up the second half. Uh, they did not rule that a fumble, by the thought, way. I thought we had a recovered yeah. fumble there um, early in the drive. Um, get pressure on the quarterback. He escapes up the middle. Ends up a yard short, so they go for it and get it. Have a pass interference there. I, I would disagree with that call. We do have the advantage of watching it on film in slow motion, right, versus the, the referees having to make a decision right there on the field. But I thought uh, Ace did a great job on, on that particular play. Uh, defense continues to play hard. Uh, we force another fourth down and get the ball back. And uh, KD with a nice run there on the outside. Some good blocking by our receivers. Another short throw out to KD. Scramble here by Owen. Really felt like that should have been, uh, you know, a, a late hit. Uh, they don't call it. Uh, we end up getting a penalty. Uh, sort of lost our composure a little bit there, and uh, unfortunately, uh, big third down play here out to Samaj Stanford for the first down. And uh, they get pressure on us here and knock the ball out of Owen's hands, and uh, they go in for the scoop and score. Yeah, Will Shoemaker, an outstanding linebacker, All-State candidate with the scoop and score, 52 yards out. So just under two minutes to go third quarter, it's tied at 10. Uh, really proud of how our offense responded. Uh, you know, the, we were driving on uh, before the fumble. Uh, had a, put a pretty good drive together, but uh, they came back out and, and marched down the field. Great catch there by KD Jones. Nice throw by Owen. And uh, move on to the fourth quarter here. Uh, big play here. Uh, third and, boy, I don't remember. 25. Third and 25. Yeah, got and, 28. Uh, AC makes the catch and then gets enough yardage for the first down and uh, Hudson Ball with the carry, uh, 10 yards I believe for the touchdown. So with 10.23 to go fourth quarter after an eight play 72 yard drive, you're up 17 to 10. Great job there, uh, Jack McAnally on the tackle among others. Um, you know, their offensive, nice play there by uh, Cooper Shockley on the pass breakup. Their offensive line is really big and physical, really proud of our guys up front. Uh, we were outsized, but uh, they played really well, allowed our linebackers and safeties and corners to, to run to the ball and make plays. Another nice catch by AC. 23 yards on third and 10. So you did a great job converting some long third downs in this second half. We did have some, some big third down plays. Uh, Hudson Ball here runs over a host of guys, in, including Landon Corwin, yeah. I think, there yeah. on that. But uh, great job getting in for the, for the next score. So midway fourth quarter, you're up now 24 to 10 on two Hudson Ball fourth quarter touchdown runs. And then he comes back on defense. Big sack there. Their, uh, their tackle couldn't get to him off the edge. And, and that was a huge play. Felt like our offensive line got better and better. Their, mm -hmm. their defensive line is really good. Right. Um, and our offensive line just kept at it, kept going, and uh, and kind of wore them down. Nice play there by Ace Gilliam. We had a penalty, blocking penalty, uh, that brought that back, but uh, really big play by Ace. 24-10, nice turnaround for Santa Fe. In my opinion, the best team out of the Oklahoma City area this year. They were one and nine a year ago, but came back and had a solid season to finish seven and four. Coach White does a great job. You know, last year was kind of the anomaly. Um, and I think they had to deal with some injuries last year that kind of contributed to that, but uh, they did. They did a great job bouncing back this year. So when we come back, we'll talk about Thanksgiving, what's ahead this week on the schedule, and again, turn our attention to Jinx Union, which will be broadcast again on Big Country 99.5 FM Friday night, 6.30 pregame, 7 o'clock kickoff from Sand Springs. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Ford. When you buy a vehicle from us, your transaction doesn't end when you drive off the lot. That's because all vehicle purchases come backed by the Knight Advantage. This includes a lifetime powertrain warranty on all new vehicles, 
a six month, 6,000 mile warranty on all used vehicles, and a low price guarantee. These exclusive offers help make your car buying experience easier and more affordable. And that's why we're Oklahoma's number one Ford dealer, Bill Knight Ford, home of the Knight Advantage. Tzatziki's Mediterranean Cafe is serving up fresh and healthy Mediterranean favorites like lamb gyros, scratch-made hummus, baklava, and more. Our salmon feast is a delicious and filling entree with none of the guilt. With over 100 menu items, Tzatziki's has something for all tastes. Elevate your catering experience with Tzatziki's signature dips and pita, box lunches, or any of our full-service catering options. Perfect for a boardroom or a baby shower. Tzatziki's is locally owned and operated. Mafia's! Welcome back to the Jinx TV show, and we are special guest, one of our uh, outstanding players on defense, Sam Stone, number 15, who plays outside linebacker and safety. Last year, Sam, you got uh, inserted into the lineup because of injuries at safety, played extremely well. Mm -hmm. Now they've moved you to outside linebacker, but you kind of play both. Kind of talk about uh, the hybrid position, if you will. Yeah, so I actually really like it because you kind of get the best of both worlds at um, – what we call it dog linebacker, because Gaylor likes to um, have kind of a positionless defense sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I get to go back and play deep coverage, but I'm also in the front sometimes. So it's really fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah I tell you what, when you're on the front line with you and Cash and Trent mm -hmm. and uh, Hudson, that makes a pretty good uh, front four right there. Yes, sir. Talk really about uh, your uh, ability to also drop back in pass coverage because you made a huge interception. Was it the Southmore game? Uh, you came up with one of the more beautiful interceptions that we've seen this year. Yes, sir. That was that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I get, like I said, Gaylor likes to put me back in coverage sometimes and we kind of have like a 5 DB look uh -huh. and it just kind of makes our defense more able to do other stuff and widen our range a little bit. In the first three games, the defense gave up around 27, 28 points a game. Since then, you guys have been playing lights out. Talk about the change from the first of the season to now. Why being so good the last uh, two-thirds of the season? Yes, sir. I think, I think at the beginning we kind of lacked some physicality. And then um, um, we kind of just figured out that that's kind of what our identity mm -hmm. is, is that we're going to try to be the most physical team. And then that's kind of when we started, started clicking and we started um, shutting – teams down a lot better. Mm -hmm. This last Friday, I know that had to feel good to shut down one of the state's top running backs, Demarius Robinson. He gashed us pretty good in that season opener, but mm -hmm. you guys held him to 17 carries, 37 yards Friday. Talk about the emphasis on stopping him. Yes, sir. He's a great player, and we knew if we could stop him, we could probably win the game. They have a great O-line and a great running back. Um, but, yeah, we did a great job containing him and not missing uh, very many tackles against him like we kind of did week one. You mentioned before we went on, you went hunting this past weekend, so <laughs> I'm sure that's one of your passions too, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like to duck hunt. It's yeah. fun. Did you have any luck? Yeah, we actually did really good. Good. Me and, me and Hudson Ball and uh, one of my uncles got three limits. Yeah, so uh, that's fun. excellent. Good. Yes, sir. That's good stuff. Good eating right there. When you uh, look ahead to Union, what, uh, what comes to mind when you look at their offense? I think they're a great team. They're very diverse, throwing it and running it. Um, but I think it'll be a fun challenge trying to stop them and play some guys that we used to know. Mm -hmm. so. that, that will be fun. The semifinal again uh, at uh, Sand Springs. Mm -hmm. I know you've got another year of eligibility left, but what do you want to do uh, this summer? What are your plans this summer? Um, basically just trying to work hard and get ready for my senior season of football. Um, maybe look into some different career opportunities and stuff with um, – just through people I know and, mm -hmm. and opportunities like that. Mm -hmm. so. Well, congrats. Any reason for the switch from 45 to 15, by the way? Uh, 15 was my dad's actual high school basketball number. Really? And so I've just kind of used that my whole life in youth yeah. sports. But it wasn't available last year, so I just used 45. And then I just wanted to switch to 15 this year because I had the chance to. Very nice. So, yeah. Jason and Amy, as folks, very much involved in the Booster Club as well. Sam, congratulations on a great season. I think it's an all-state season. <laughs> and congratulations on it. Good luck against Union. Thank Thanks. you, Mr. King. Yes, sir. Sam Stone, the safety outside linebacker for the Jinx Trojans. And we'll come back and talk about Union here in just a minute. Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Lincoln. We understand the value of time and have designed a sales and service experience with that in mind. From a fully online buying experience that will take you from start to finish on the vehicle purchase, including signing all of your documents online, to our pickup and delivery option and service where we'll bring the loaner to you. We have many clients who have never been to our dealership, keeping them at home to take care of the things that really matter. 
So come experience the new luxury, effortless luxury at Bill Knight Lincoln, 41st and Memorial and BillKnightLincoln.com. Waldo's Chicken and Beer is home of Southern Fried and Fire Roasted Chicken. Enjoy scratch-made tenders, flavor-packed chicken wings, and house-made sauces. Mac and cheese, collard greens, hand-cut french fries, and our signature cheddar cheese biscuit. Finish off your meal with our homemade banana pudding. Watch all your favorite sports at our full-service bar while sipping on ice-cold beer or any of our craft cocktails. Drive through, dine in, or order online. Needing to feed a large group? Spice it up with Waldo's Catering. Waldo's Chicken and Beer, the best homemade fried chicken in Tulsa. Come see us! We wrap it up here as we get set for Jinx and uh, Union. First of all, Thanksgiving uh, practice. I know is, uh, it's, uh, it's a tradition here and uh, it's something you guys really look forward to. Uh, it is. One, it may, means you're making a deep run into the playoffs. Uh, two, it, it's just a fun week, uh, getting to practice early Thanksgiving morning. Uh, you know, this week we get to talk about uh, being thankful and, and gratitude. Um, have a lot of family members and former players that come out for the Thursday morning practice, so it really is a special time. It's a little more of an intense practice, I would think, because uh, you play again on the next day. You know, it is. You know, when when the six A uh, when six A split and that was a bye week, mm -hmm. uh, it could be a little more relaxed. Um, but now with the change in the playoff format. Um, there is a little more intensity and focus uh, that goes into that morning. Mm -hmm. Talk about Union. You beat them 28 to nothing here at Jinx uh, back early in the season. But as you well know, as everybody knows that's followed this series, uh, uh, anything can happen. I mean, uh, it's going to be a toss-up going into Friday. Uh, outstanding football team. They really, you know, we talked about it several weeks ago. They don't have any, you know, glaring weaknesses. Uh, they're solid at every position, offensively and defensively. Uh, so you've got to be really sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know we were fortunate enough to generate some takeaways, uh, our defense, and and get up on them. But uh, it's going to be another outstanding game, I think. Looking forward to it, Coach. Thank you. We'll see you Friday night in Sand Springs, seven o'clock kickoff Friday, with uh, Jinx and Union. And again, the game will be aired on the radio on Big Country 99.5 FM and the highlights coming up here next week. You're watching Jinx Trojan football. Yeah! Seven, second and seven from the 45 yard line. Here's the quarterback rolling right. He gets hit at the line of scrimmage. Hit again, loose football. Trojans cover it. They have it. Yes, sir. Cooper Shockley. Gilkey, quarterback, getting the snap going right and walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Jack Franklin's extra point right down the middle. Here is a give to the running back, and Robinson coughs it up. They're going to say he is down, though. Yeah! Eight from the Jinx nine yard on high snap. Get it back. Hand off Robinson. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Driven back. Snap back. Ball down. Kick up to our right. And it's good from 25 yards out. Here's a pass out to KD. Caught at the 50. To the 45. Gets by a man to the 40. Down the sideline to the 30. And finally pushed out of bounds. Aiden Christensen to hold the left footer. Franklin has enough leg. He swings the leg through and 
splits the uprights on a 40-yard field goal. to Robinson coming right. He's cut down in the open field by Samaj Stanford. What a play. Newton run ready for the snap. He gets it. He breaks one tackle but can't break the other. Oh, they're off sides. No flag. Screen pass called. Caught AC 30 to the 40. Now he's out of bounds. Hand off Robinson. He busts it. Right at the 30, might have lost the football. Jones flushed out. He's going to run at 50, 45, 40. Out of bounds, and the Santa Fe guy jumps on his back and rides him when he was clearly out of bounds. And now there's going to be a penalty flag, and it's going to be on the Jinx Trojans, who are over by the huddle. Jones is going back, airing it out, diving long distance. KD with a diving catch at the 30. Yes, sir, he held on to it. That might be the highlight of the year for number two. Batman flew in the air and made a sensational catch. Second down and four from the Santa Fe 10. Ball again, running right, running hard to the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Handoff. They got to keep this guy bottled up. Robinson can't even get to the line of scrimmage. Hello, Jack McAnally. Shotgun snap, handoff. Oh, he's open. KD finally gets some room up the middle and powers his way to the 50. Back to pass, Owen Jones floats it over the middle, caught at the five-yard line. First and goal Trojans to Hayden Christensen. Second and goal from the Santa Fe Five. Handoff ball over the left side. He runs over Corwin. He runs over a defender, and he gets to the goal line. Did he get on? He did. He's on the goal line. Touchdown, Trojans. Rob Labor called it. Angry running. Running with attitude right there. He gets hit about the line of scrimmage. He's turning those legs. Corwin is leading the way. He's running over the left-hand side. Gets into the end zone for a big Trojan touchdown right there. And on the defensive end, he's just as good as he just racked Daniel Newton for a sack back to the 12-yard line. Back to pass again. This time he goes to the sidelines. Picked off at the 40. To the 30. Down the sideline. He's going to go. 